do you think I'm an idiot? I am pro myself, I'm not pro anybody. When we were busy in our political struggles, they would come and ask me, are you pro East or pro West? Uganda's Yoweri Museveni obviously has no love for the West. No kind words from President Museveni. At a meeting recently in Uganda, he had this to say about the Western superpowers. I look at these people. Sometimes I would want to use bad words, but I would restrain myself. And to say, do you think I'm an idiot? I am pro myself, I'm not pro anybody. Why would you not have it in your head that this man or this group of people are pro their own interests? Why would you think that my job is to be pro this one or the other one and I have no other, other job except that? That's really uh, incredible shallowness. That's the grand old man of African politics, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. Yoweri Museveni has had run-ins with the Western powers, and especially the U.S. On this occasion, uh, I think many of you will remember that um, the big question of sexual orientation, that big debate happening in the West, has been pushed to Africa silently, and uh, there's been a great uproar over Uganda's decision to actually pass laws against people that they deem as not acting African in terms of their sexual orientation. The West has been livid about this. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law. It's not just Uganda that has gone through that kind of pressure from the West. Kenya, for example, its own son, Barack Obama, attempted to do that. And um, President Uhuru Kenyatta had this to say about it. It's very difficult for us to be able to impose on people that which they themselves do not accept. Fast forward, similar thing has happened in Ghana. And let me be clear about where we stand. First so, of all, for the obviously, where President Museveni sits, his argument is that just as the Western nations have the right to manage their own affairs as they so wish, as they deem fit, it's the very same manner that African nations have got to manage their own affairs as they see fit. That is the power of the sovereign. That is the power of the people of Uganda. That is the power of citizens of any nations of the world. What the West is experiencing today, unlike many decades before, is that information is now very readily available. It's moving pretty fast. And with social media, you can't hide anything under the rug and expect that ordinary folk anywhere else in the world won't find it, won't speak about it. The U.S. has had its fair challenge in terms of political turmoil within its borders. They've had to deal with immigration, and uh, we saw how the former President Trump handled that. He believed in America for itself, America first. So a whole spirit of nationalism, you know, reared its head. A similar thing happened in, in Europe with Brexit, a very small majority got Britain out of the EU. So Africa is saying we are not going to be dictated to on how to run our affairs, what to choose for ourselves, but to have the power to do it within our own means, within our own needs. No kind words from President Museveni. And uh, this has gone on for a while now. President Museveni obviously is fairly old, will not be running for president, or so we think. And Uganda, via its president, is saying, this is our journey, this is our path, 
this is how we'll manage our affairs. This is AOB, Africa, our business. Uganda is also saying, this is Uganda, our business. Africa is saying, this is our business. It's by our dictate, by our means, by our heart's desire. As a nation, as a sovereign, African countries are seemingly speaking loudly today that they do not want any interference from the West. Please share your comments about Museveni's reactions lately. It may seem like an outburst, but the grand old man of African politics does have a point. Do you agree? Don't you agree? Let's have a chat about this. And is the West interfering too much in African affairs? Is the West overstepping their reach? That is what seems to be the challenge here. And Africa is saying, we've got to manage our own affairs. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, those who have. And if you haven't, kindly hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like our content to help us build and reach many, many more. Our idea here is to connect Africa and the diaspora. Give commentary that will help you understand the continent better to execute your movement across the continent of Africa with ease and really enjoy your journey on this continent. So whether you are from Uganda, whether you are from Kenya, whether you are from Nigeria or the Caribbean or England or the US, Africa is saying, take a leap, visit the motherland and enjoy your stay. This is Africa, our business, and I'll thank you for your time. We see you again at the next video. I'm out. <laughs>